Hi everyone, I'm Smooth McGroove and this is Charles. He is my friend. And we're gonna go play some Super Mario World again. Okay, so this time we're gonna go back to the uns to the uh, the levels I skipped. And we're gonna beat this level normally because we're gonna get access to some cool stuff. There's also a Switch Palace that I skipped, I realized. I believe it's the green one. And because we can, we're gonna fly! We're gonna fly through this whole level. Like this. And if I do good, if I do well, then I won't stop until I get enough. Now I've got Michael Jackson in my head. Oh no! <laughs> I hit that thing. Okay, don't get baseballed, Mario. Like I'm telling Mario what to do? controlling him, so I guess I can tell him what to do, huh? Okay. So that is the secret. And... Alright. Can we get 50? Can we get 50 here? <sighs> no! Oh, come on. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, 40! One from the... Mmm, so close. I'm gonna get 50 on one of these videos. Troll's gonna help me. He's gonna help me. He looks just like a black blob. Tell you, man, Charles is awesome. In every way. He's awesome in every way. No, give me that smush room. I love this. It's like I was saying earlier, all of these levels, they have like the same theme, musical theme. It's awesome. I actually have the turn, uh, the, the turn sound. I have the sound turned down a bit on the TV so it doesn't bleed through the microphone because the way I'm capturing this, it's capturing it directly to, um, from a capture device. And, uh, so I can't hear the music as well as I normally can when I'm playing this. It makes me want to wear headphones or something. So I can, like, sing along. Ah, oh, that was a failure! Ah, oh, I gotta win. I just wanna win. That's all I wanna do. I want to win. Mm-hmm. I got a mushroom. It's a football, man. I made him mad. So here... is where if we had a Yoshi, he would fly, but we're gonna fly normally, because we have a feather. Woohoo! Oh, can I even do that? I think I've gotten up there before. Oh, man. If I had Yoshi, this would be so easy. Okay. We're gonna start from back here. I'm gonna keep trying, guys. Yes! Oh, man. Pretty good. You gotta admit, that was pretty good. And there's the green Switch Palace. Let's do it. And if I would've saved that shell, it would've been good. No! Whoa! Okay, I forgot what the Switch Palace is about. So that was nothing. You get a, you get a, um, an extra life if you, like, use that shell to hit all the turtles. The Koopas. But I didn't. But I have 22 lives, because I've been doing pretty well. Continue and save. Now we beat this level normally. I don't need that mushroom this time, but I'm gonna get it because it gives me points. I don't really need extra lives either, but... Oh, yeah! I have a story about this game. When I first, uh... It wasn't, it, was, it wasn't when I first got it, it was, um... When I was still playing it a lot. I, um... I was sick at school, and I remember uh, asking to go home because I was sick. I had, like, a fever or something. And I was so excited to go home from school because I wanted to play this game so badly. It was just one of those memories that I have. And it was it's like a very powerful memory that I, I haven't forgotten about. I, but here's, the, here's the, the bitter end to the story. I get home and I turn it on and I start playing and my mom says, No, if you're sick, you're going to the doctor. And so um, I was like, crap. So I remember pausing the game. I didn't even turn it off. And then we went to the doctor's office and... 
I don't remember if I had like strep throat or something or just the flu, but I just remember how she she crushed my dreams by making me go to the doctor. It's actually the smart thing to do because I I think I may have actually had strep throat the beginnings of it. I got strep several times when I was a kid. Not a good not a good infection to have. Not that any infection is really good to have. But one of the one of the worst infections to have as a kid because. If I remember correctly, strep throat can progress and stop your heart. Definitely not good. Crap! I forgot that that kills you. <sighs> Fine. Fine. But yeah, strep throat wasn't very fun. <clears throat> In high school, I remember being excited, <laughs> being sick because... Uh, by then I was playing a lot of uh, PC games, so I would like stay home from school and play StarCraft or uh, Diablo 2 or Diablo 1, Warcraft 3, games like that. Mostly Blizzard games actually, because Blizzard was, uh, they had like amazing games back then even. It's like all their very first games. Not very first, but early ones. No World of Warcraft or anything like that. No Heroes of the Storm. Dude, I loved Diablo 2. I've been playing Diablo 3 recently again. They just released, um... Oh, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but they released a, um... A new patch. Not really recently, but recently to me, because I haven't, I haven't played Diablo 3 in a long time. I like the Diablo series. Diablo 3 was a... It was... It was after all is said and done, a disappointment. I, I expected it to be, like, as awesome as Diablo 2 to me. And I'm not sure if it wasn't as awesome because I have such fond memories of D2 and being, you know, 14, 15 years old and playing D2 was just a blast because I had no other care in the world or if it was just because it was bad. Because honestly, I played Diablo 3 for, man, I played it from June because I didn't play it from release. I was doing other things from June until about October. So a solid four months. I played it a lot. I did the auction house a lot. I, I did the thing where I would, um, oh, what would I do? I, I would, uh, I'm getting sidetracked now because I don't want to lose this level again. I did the, the real money auction house and it like paid my rent for several months because of how much I was playing. And for those of you who did play the real money auction house, you can, you can sell your items for real money and it was awesome. Um, it was kind of awesome anyways. It, it ruined the game for a lot of people. I was always into the economy of Diablo 2. I loved it. I even did the eBay thing before Blizzard said that was a bad thing. But yeah, I paid my rent several months in a row just from the Diablo 3 Real Money Auction House because I played that game just incessantly. Constantly. And it was a lot of fun. But um, it ruined the game for a lot of people. Like my friends who weren't interested in the auction house but you kind of had to play the auction house to like do well. Um, it ruined the game for them. I remember they them getting really disappointed. And, you know, they would find really awesome items, and I'd be like, Dude, sell it on the auction house, man. You'll make so much money. Or even, you know, some gold. And they would be like, I don't want to do that. You do it for me. I was like, I don't... I, I never liked the idea of selling other people's items. Because the game for me was finding my items and then selling them. And it was like, awesome. I loved it. But selling other people's items just wasn't exciting to me because it was like I was playing someone else's game for them or something. And I don't know. But yeah, they're, they're taking out, they, they probably by this time have already taken out the auction, the real, 29 without a normal, without any boost or anything, that was, that was the best, like, maybe 29 or 30 is the highest. Anyways, yeah, Diablo 3. Played it a lot. That would actually be kind of a fun game to play through. On here. Yeah, I did it. Except that they weren't stars. But yeah, I'm kind of lamenting the closing of the auction now. It's not that I play Diablo 3 anymore. Because I, I just really, really liked the whole economy thing. You know, like feeling you're like you're actually building up a character and item base and all that stuff. So, this is the top secret area. You get a Yoshi. And you get... This side has uh, flowers and this side has feathers. And you can come here as many times as you want. You can leave and then come back and leave and come back. Yeah. So, if you if you do access it, it makes the game so much easier to get through. Like, if you need feathers and such. 
But anyways, um, next time we will move on to the castle and we'll be done with the donut planes. So, say goodbye, Charl. Wave goodbye, dude. There you go, man. There's, there's your Charl wave. This tail is so cool. It moves on its own. Weird. Anyways, I'll see you next time. If you liked the video, let me know. Leave comments. Again, this is all news, so I'm having fun. Hope you guys are having fun. So yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye. So what you do is... No! I lost my feather! Crap, 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 crap.